My name is Peter aka GP and this is the first episode of my fingerstyle tutorial series called Fingerstyle 101. The reason why I started this project is because I get a lot of comments on my videos asking for tutorials even though I post the tabs for my arrangements and I don't really know what else could I be explaining in tutorial videos. So long story short that's why I decided to make some lessons starting from the basics. This way everyone will be able to try and learn playing fingerstyle. Please note that I'm not a professional musician, I'm just trying to help out other people by sharing some knowledge and personal experience I've gathered over the years. Keep in mind that I can guarantee your success just by watching these tutorials. However, if you are dedicated enough and willing to practice every day and won't give up, then I can assure you that you will succeed in the end. So let's get into it. So the first thing you should know about finger style is that you pick with your fingers. So as opposed, as opposed to playing electric guitars, you don't use any picks. And that's why it's called finger style. Finger style is played on uh, classical and acoustic guitars. Um, classical guitars have nylon strings resulting in a warmer and lighter tone. And acoustic guitars have steel strings. Uh, which results in a more characteristic sound. I'm gonna link two example videos in annotations, so click here to check out how a classical guitar sounds and click here to listen to a song played on an acoustic guitar. I should point out that uh, playing on steel strings is a bit painful at first, uh, but with time your, your fingertips will get used to it and the pain will go away. Trust me, I've been there. If you're looking to buy a new guitar, then you should definitely try both types and see which one suits you better. However, uh, acoustic guitars seem to be a more common choice. Alright, so your left hand goes over the fretboard. Uh, you support your hand with your thumb like this. Uh, and you hold down the strings with the rest of your fingers. Uh, now you should place your fingers on the fretboard and apply pressure onto the string or strings. Uh, don't apply too much pressure because it's unnecessary and your fingers will get hurt. However, you shouldn't apply too low pressure either because that way you won't get clean sounds. Uh, now let's talk about finger placement. The proper way of doing this is that you place your fingers onto the strings in an angle like this. So it's kind of vertical. And uh, because if your fingers touch the other strings, then you'll get a dull sound, especially if you're playing chords. So it's, it's, the, it's not right uh, instead of this. So always try to get this angle. Also you should always place your fingers as close to the fret as possible. This will result in a cleaner tone. Uh, moving, uh, moving your fingers further from the fret will get you dull sounds as well. So always stay close to the fret. Moving on to the right hand, you use your thumb to pick the best notes, usually the 6th, the 5th and 4th strings, and you use your index, middle and ring fingers to pick the melody notes, usually the 3rd, 2nd and 1st string. Uh, the pinky finger is usually not used, but every guitarist has their own style, so if it's comfortable for you, then why not try to pick with it too. Also be sure to support your hand with your elbow, like this. This way uh, your hand will be stable and uh, you will be able to pick the strings correctly. Uh, generally you pick over the sound hole, uh, but for different purposes you can also pick closer to the bridge or over the fretboard. Uh, you will get different tones, but uh, I will explain that uh, later in another lesson. Another important factor of playing fingerstyle is whether you grow your nails 
on your right hand or not. Uh, nails really affect the way of playing. They add a certain touch uh, to the sound. Uh, and also some techniques are easier and more effective with them. Uh, there's no written rule of how much you should grow your nails. Uh, however, if you can see them from the palm side of your hand, that's a good start. As I said, there's no written rule of how much you should grow them. You should, you should just experiment with it until you find what suits you the best. And remember, you don't want to grow them on your left hand because uh, they will just prevent you from holding down the notes correctly for absolutely no reason. By the way, you could uh, avoid growing your nails on your right hand if you use finger picks. Um, you just pull them on your fingers and you're ready to play. You should give them a try. Uh, however, I personally grow my nails because I just don't feel finger picks the way I feel my nails. So my playing with finger picks uh, wasn't that effective. So that was the first episode of Finger Style 101. I hope it was helpful. In the next lesson, we'll be going through some basic exercises and picking patterns. If you have any questions, suggestions, or requests for the upcoming lessons, feel free to leave a comment below or send me a private message or contact me on Facebook. Thanks for watching and see you next time.